Dear Dunn. Dear Dunn. <laughs> what are you telling Joe Byron Dear right Dunn. now? Dear Dunn. What's up, baby? No, Thank you out of there. <laughs> Bing bong. <clears throat> you know what I'm doing? Take me out to dinner. Take me out to dinner. Are you me out to dinner. Are you vaccinated? Yes, sir. If you see me, if you see these dogs outside, you know I'm going hard. I'm scared. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong. This is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna be a. It's gonna be. Are we rolling? Theory. Yeah, we're rolling. We started. Why well, we started? I'm rolling. Oh, with the video. Rolling, with the camera rolling. rolling. Uh, hey, just tell me whenever you're ready. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. The audio is rolling with the camera rolling. rolling. I'm just trying to make sure the audio is not bad. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. The audio is. That, I think that's the most important thing. Making sure. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Oh Why you get so quiet? Oh, this guy right here. <laughs> Bro, he's a ball of energy until he claps. I in class. He was the worst kid. All I was, you know, they gave me a bouncy ball in class. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This guy. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I want to hear why. I refuse to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I would be. You ever see the picture of? You ever see the, 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 the no, no? You ever see the uh, like the series of memes of like Pablo Escobar? Yeah. It's just standing over there. He's standing over here. He has his hands behind his back like this. At the, that was me in middle school. Well, I just be at the window like this. He's be standing. <laughs> she be like, Muhammad, can you sit down? I'm like, no, I'm not sitting down. <laughs> I'm not sitting down. She's like, she was like, get this nigga a bouncing ball. <laughs> I was on that bitch like, <laughs> 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 huh? Yoga ball, yeah. The little the big ball. ass exercise balls. And then the other kids got jealous so that then everybody got a bouncy ball. Damn. Yeah. I think fuck. You starting the wave back had, in third grade. I, had, I, had in my I went to a, I went to like a really small Where'd you go? I went to Cedarside Community School, yeah. It was like I had like twelve kids in my class. Huh? Cedarside Community School, yeah. This nigga went to a special school. He's I did. About, he went I did. to a special ed school. Okay. I did. I had two teachers in my classroom. <laughs> Yeah, y'all was, y'all want to, te- want to teach the class or want to teach me? <laughs> huh. You did intervention. Huh? Second grade. Second grade? You went to Cedar Street Community School? Yeah, went there. This nigga went there. I, right. I, went, I was there Mr. for fifth grade and up. Oh, yeah, I had Mr. Curry. Mr. White. Mr. White, the big native guy. That guy big is so cool. Bro, his hands. Are we rolling? I'm bro, I remember when he was shaking that. my hand. It was big as fuck, right? No, no, no. Yeah, he would go. He would eat your shit. <laughs> <laughs> and his name is Mr. White. Yeah, I'm so white. He's native. He was real. Native. His yeah. name, his native name was like polar bear or something like. <laughs> <laughs> bear hands. Bear hands. I'm actually, I'm actually, hands. I'm actually dead ass. Polar bear. Polar hey, bear. we rolling. Good. Right. Cameras are good. Come on, get us in. Let's get this it is going. All getting Let's in. get it going. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Muhammad Sharif. This is Goat Talk. I got my boy Hamza to the right of me. And it's Muhammad Noor. Love this man. Joining you right and now. And we got this I'm legendary guy right camera. here, Mr. Muhammad C. Noor. Y'all can ask him what the C is about. How you feeling today, man? I'm feeling great. How are you doing? I'm all right, bro. What time is it? Let's, 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 yeah, we should actually talk about what time it is. Because in all honesty, that's going to that's gonna shape how this episode looks <laughs> like. It's motherfucking 1.37 in the morning. 1.37. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. And the last time we recorded, what, at 12 o'clock? Yeah, it's all your fault. Yeah, it's just going downhill. What? I blame you. Like, I think the last time we talked is when we have you back, we'll be more organized. Yeah. We'll be at a better place. And we got less organized. Yeah, less yeah, organized. It is what it is. Place. Remember, remember we told you we we're going to have great like, places in life. and uh, great We're working yeah, on it. Right yeah. I'm in a great place right now. It's going to get better though. So <laughs> These guys told me they had a bunch of questions for me. We do. We do. We have actually a lot of questions for you. Um, but let's let's do maybe a little daily recap right now. Of my day. I know I know you were at a conference earlier. Um, you know, mashallah, spreading the faith, talking about Spread the deen, mm-hmm. you know, doing stuff like that. So talk to us about that. How was that? I'm gonna play the humble gar- card on this one. I, just, I wasn't spreading the faith. That's that's not what I was doing. But um, yeah, I I, I came to perform my poetry, um, sell my books. You know, it's kind of being an artist. Just a little. Can we? Yeah. I think, I think the audience would love a piece of your poetry if you can. Let me to perform right now. <laughs> a little oh, bit. Yeah. Audience? Just a little bit. Spit Just a little, a little bit. bit. What, Just what do you spit. guys want to hear? What do you, Whatever. Something no. that I know you that think, that answer never helps. <laughs> Something that you, you think we need to hear. I do have a favorite. You know my favorite. I know you have a favorite. You should do that one. I'm not gonna do the favorite though. No, I want to hear the, the favorite. thing about the favorite <laughs> the, is. Then now I want to hear the favorite. The thing about the favorite is I've done it like. In every set, like Nobody, every every mm, recording, that so people are tired of it. Nobody. So I'm cares. gonna do a different one. Nobody's tired. I'm gonna do a different one. No. It, okay. It's the favorite for. I'm gonna look at the camera and I'm gonna do it. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Let's see. So, it. 
you're not gonna do the favorite. I'm not gonna do his okay. favorite. Yeah. It's his. By the way, it's what if his this one favorite. becomes my favorite? This new the one. The new one becomes your favorite. Yeah, yeah then come then on now. Good. Let's go. You know what I mean? Come <clears> on. <throat> some have questioned my drive when I say that greatness has arrived. See, some strive to thrive but won't try to survive. I ain't happy with my nine to five. I ain't content living check to check. And though I ain't a victim to no slave ships, my mama flew here transatlantic planes with wings that stretch farther than plantations. She planned patient plans for her seed to fly from sea to sea. See, she had a vision for us. Ten years max on welfare till we make it to college and study health care so we can move the family from the projects we were placed in, from green cards to clean cars and grocery shopping at Whole Foods instead of having to withhold food. She knew that every moment I spent in school would lead me to being able to measure the rules of this doggy dog world because like fools, they preach rules they don't even follow through my nine years of life was meant to be shocked by the rudimentary rules of elementary schools the hallways were like a jungle we weren't meant to survive and the black kids thought we africans were beasts who swung on vines and the little white girls wanted to touch our curls i'm gonna stop there that's called bars nigga <laughs> what are you doing a funk flex come on come on now that's crazy like i'm not gonna lie to y'all bro there was so much in that okay no, I just like, gave a little direction. Yeah, <clears throat> you, not, just, you just gotta appreciate sometimes. Yeah, like I just nah, had to digest you that, bro. Appreciate you know, it. I can only snap with one hand. I can't snap with this hand. Yeah, this guy has a messed up finger. Poor guy. Don't talk about my disability. Okay, Chill sorry. <laughs> but yo, <that> <laughs> I do have a look. That's my finger. It that only goes a, up to there. It's a very long story. I'll tell it someday. Um, it's a hilarious story. I hope you tell yeah, it some, yeah. sometime soon. Are you still writing poetry? Of course. Of course I'm writing poetry. Man. Come on. Has the process never changed? Stop. Has the process changed for you as as I know you're on book two now. You you're in the process of writing that. Book I'm not going I'm not gonna put too much pressure on you, be like, yo, when's the release day and all that. Um but <laughs> he's putting the pressure on you. That's know, literally the most by telling me you're not putting pressure on me, he's putting pressure on me. Yeah, but has that process changed for you? The process has not changed. Uh, I think the content has changed. I think mm. what I'm writing about now. Um, it's not about me anymore because that's that was my original approach with poetry where it was like personal and I was writing about myself and like mm -hmm. things that I went through and I'm writing about situations that I dealt with. I'm writing about like, you know, things that people like me deal with and, and I'm, it's very personal. But now, now my writing is taking a different flavor. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's in a different direction. So I'm not writing about myself anymore. So the content's changed. But the writer is still there, and I th I'm, I'm hoping like whether or not it's good, it's still good, hopefully. It's, yeah. As long as you think it's good, I feel like yeah. we'll think it's good. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. sure. That's how art is. Yeah. So, question. Mm. I stole that from Hamza, by the way. Yeah, yeah. he'd be saying I'm it. about to trademark that. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie to you. I, so I actually it will, Hamza will trademark like, Hamza that. Be like, Hamza be like with his beard. Question. So, question. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he didn't see what I did. So, question. <laughs> Um, but um, no, I'm gonna look at the video. If you uh, if so, as a writer, right? I wanted to ask you this. Yeah. If you like discover a new word, yeah. Like you just knew, you just learned oh, this word. Oh yeah. Do you ever try to like force it into like a poem or yeah. like implement it or like what's what's that like? Cause like I be f like figure out new words and I'm like, yo, that's fire. That's what that Let shit. Let me use that. Let me use that and yeah. then like I literally like try to or like a phrase or something like that. No, no, no. I don't really try to. Have you ever noticed um, when you when you like when you learn a new word, mm. you start hearing it everywhere. Yeah. Or like you that's know what everything. I'm saying? There's, there's, a, like there's, a, there's a law about that. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Murphy's law. There's another like when you yeah the car you thing. You start noticing you like phone, you see you, you see a red you see a red Kia you, and you see start it. seeing a red Kia everywhere. everywhere so yeah. Why is there a red Kia? What I didn't know there was this many. You start <laughs> noticing. It's like that with the same thing with me with words. Like, I, I think I have an intimate connection with words, and so like certain words. I'll hear it from one person, yeah. and now it's everywhere. Like, yeah. The word Where is everywhere. Where you think you have an intimate relationship with words. With words? With oh, yeah. words. Relationship when do, when do you think words. When do you think that first started happening? Um, so every word that I learn, mm -hmm. there's a situation in which I learned it. Like I'm talking about like important words, like mm -hmm. not like the everyday sentence words, but like words that are part of either my lingo and just like my slang, or yeah. words that I use like in academic terms, whatever it is. There's there's a time that I learned it and I always remember like who taught me yeah. that word. There's certain words I avoid wow. because people I hate taught me them. I hate that nigga. Bro, me and this guy are like so guy. similar. It's crazy. You, you think the exact same way? Yeah, I be doing the same shit. <clears throat> it's wild. Yeah, yeah. 
So, uh, it, so using the words now in, in my writing, um, I don't try to force anything into my writing. Mm-hmm. But there are moments, and I know you know this, you as well. There are moments where you use a word and it fits into the context. Mm-hmm. You don't even know what the word means. Yeah. And then you go and like look it up and like, wow, this word actually Well, you were just supposed to be placed there. What I think it means. Like this word. <laughs> wow. What's this the, word makes sense. The word uh, plethora. Mm. I know what the fuck plethora is. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. By the way, this guy always this guy is always complimenting my my vocabulary. But he actually has a great vocabulary himself, which yeah. is, is hilarious. Thank you, thank you. I've been but learning, I I've been learning words on accident, yeah. bro. So <laughs> the, I, I, I heard plethora, and I'm like, that is a fire word, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it means, but it's fire. Yeah. So I used it in one of my poems, and everybody said, yeah, bro, that's fire. So I went home, and I looked up, what does plethora mean? So you already made the poem, you performed the poem, my guy without even doing research yeah, on figuring out what the word was. I, I, at a young age, I've convinced myself people don't give a fuck what I got to say. <laughs> so I just be doing and saying what I want. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm like, ain't nobody paying attention to anyway. yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm just about to put that that He thought I was just going to sit here and be like, yeah, that's normal. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. No, it, my fits, man. it sounds nice. It rhymed. There was another, I forget the poem, bro, but there was another word before it that I could not find. Nothing was rhyming Nothing with it, it or fitting with it. Or You ever make up your own word? Yeah. No, I, I do I'm that a lot. I'll be making up <clears> own words. I'll be adding is Asian yeah. ism to a <laughs> ism, random word. Yeah. I'll take a word, I'll add ismation to it. It's all types of suffixes. Well, I can't wait to read your that. book and be like, he That's made that one. Nah, word. this nigga made that one up. Fact. It's about to be in that bitch with a yeah. highlighter. This guy, this guy's going to create wait, 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 a new wait. dictionary. Cap. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, that's my crazy. Goodness. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, Yo, but... I heard you was a, um, you started a club in Ohio at one point. Oh, <laughs> my God. Is that true? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> this man was itching to you ask guys, that. You guys itching to ask <laughs> that. Yeah, I was still that like this. There's no just... truth to that. There's absolutely How no How long was it? Four that. minutes? There's, there's... Oh, my God. He said, come on, come on, no, come on, come on. This I just started my fault. I got a little There's impatient. absolutely no chance. So what kind of club? Like actually club? like a tss, 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 like one of those so clubs? It wasn't, it wasn't a tss, tss club. It wasn't even a club. Uh, it was... <laughs> I heard it was a gathering. No. It's <laughs> dying in the back. <laughs> Dude, we just... <laughs> By the way, we have a live studio audience. Yes, now. we do. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I didn't... <laughs> yeah. No, I did not start a club. It, there was an event we did that there just so happened to be music involved. And some, some concerned parents came to the mischief and said, this nigga started it. <laughs> <laughs> some, some very concerned parents. And you know, it's... Uh, so... Sheikho, 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 I'm a musical teacher. Oh That's what they said. The, what, bro? So I, so I like, all heads, you know, like, the they exaggerate is, everything. Nobody came up it. to me. Nobody came up to me. Of course they did not. So what nobody they did ever was, does that. What they did was they, they created this story. Mm-hmm. They went to my dad. And my dad <laughs> comes home. I'm upstairs just vibing <laughs> in my room. My dad calls me down. And there's a serious meeting in my house. My brothers are there. My mom is there. <laughs> Since we died, I was like, I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and then I sit down. I think they didn't even tell me to grab a chair. They told me to sit on the floor. I said, okay, oh something serious God. is happening. I sat on the floor. I'm looking up. My dad's like, what are you? I'm like, what are you? And then his dad proceeded to whoop his ass. No, 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 no. He's not gonna tell us that part, though. He's not gonna tell us that part. No, no. That's not what he had. Oh, oh my God. What did he have? What did he have? What did he have? What did he have? The hanger ready. How I can't ask this. What did he have? This guy's a hanger ready. And then what did what did he say? No, no, no. And I died. I died of laughter. I was like laughing. I was like, dude. I was like, dude. Where where did you get that from? Like, how did you what? How did you come to that conclusion? Like, what's what's going on? You know? Yeah. And he's like. Somebody told me this, and I'm like, that's not true. And then he was like, it's to see. It's not that they get to see. <laughs> so, you know, I put out my phone. I showed him what the event was like. He was like, this is not. I was like, all right, bro, you're right. So, yeah. 
That's wild. So to clear it up, no, I did not open a, a nightclub that's in my city. That's crazy. wild. Subhanallah. Crazy. I'm glad, I'm but you did a lot of amazing things in your city, though, as well. I did a lot alongside of things. Alongside the club. I did a lot of things. Let's alongside the fact that I stopped doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your favorite thing about Ohio? Because I feel like a lot of people actually hate on Ohio. I've been to Ohio only once. And that's, Yo, that's the last time. Good that's the last time I'm about to be in Ohio. For everything, Ohio. cap. But, everything, but everything I like everything I like about Ohio yeah. is the things that people don't like that that they say they don't like about Ohio. The fact that it's a quiet place. The mm. fact that there's not a lot going on all the time. I told you this last night. Yeah, I have FOMO. Yeah, I hate missing out on fear. Stuff. Fear of missing out. Fear of fear of missing out. I hate missing out on stuff. I can live like I can live in a place like this because there's mm. always so many things going on. Mm-hmm. And you just and and like you know what I'm saying like yeah. so I couldn't I couldn't do that. This nigga is the opposite of formal, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. This nigga Hamza does not give a fuck. <laughs> There'll be like ten things going. Be like, yeah, bro, I'm at the crib, bro. I'm just kicking it. I like but to yeah, get at bro, the crib. So so for me, it's like it's quiet. It's it, it feels like a very homely place. It's mm-hmm. just so that's all the things that people say. Oh, Ohio's dead. There's nothing to do. There's no functions. There's nothing going on. I like that. You can come out here for yeah, vacation yeah. and work. I, I, I don't really come out here for vacation. I only come out here when it's necessary, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Or or if I say like, yo. Or if he says, yo, let's yeah. record a podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what By I'm the saying? way, podcast is one... not cutting plane tickets out here. <laughs> Stop. Hey, I just first of all. Be, I just happen to be in town and we recorded it. You didn't have to I don't want y'all to get the wrong he, idea of these niggas. Hey, we gave this nigga ibuprofen and water. It's love. That's all we I got. I had a headache. We gonna we gonna get there though. We gonna get there. We gonna get there. Inshallah. We gonna get there. Inshallah. This is the part of the podcast where we just kick it and just <laughs> <laughs> enjoy each other's presence. Bro, it's two in the morning. Yeah, it's bro. two in the morning when I it's kick it. It's two in the two morning. In the morning, bro. I got a question though. Okay. So, I follow you on TikTok. Oh no, I do. I be. Um, I actually have your notifications on every time you post. What? Get out of here. Man, that's a true friend. Get out of here. By the way, you're Ding. hilarious on TikTok. Thank you. Bro. One of my favorite. One of the fit. You know this saying? guy is Low funny. Key. Just everywhere. As, as him. Funny guy. Low key. As him. Just being you know himself. Saying? What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out today. What's up, baby? Take me out today. Hey. <laughs> Yo. So I need to start watching TikToks. No, you don't. Don't do that to yourself. See, that's look, this is the Don't problem. I yourself. feel like everyone says that. Don't do that to yourself. <clears throat> but you're never in the joke. You always yeah. feel left out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, I, bro, look, look. Don't laugh with us. Just kick it over there. We're going to have a great time. No, no, but the thing Stay is. over there. <laughs> this nigga's pissed. Yeah. So, hey, bro, because this, this I nigga. I thought you said this guy didn't have FOMO. Bro, what's going on? He said, no. Nah. Don't laugh with us. <laughs> it's the <laughs> fact <laughs> that it's just so much happiness and joy comes out of it oh, that yeah. everyone wants to talk oh, about the statue. I just want to laugh with y'all, yeah. bro. I want to feel. I feel old. But the thing is, when we be laughing, it's not a. It's, it's pain in that laughter, niggas. This shit is not funny. Don't lie, don't lie it is. Um, but um, so just to kind of mesh together two things, um, it's it's not gonna be a tough question. Don't okay, worry. Good, good, good. Um, obviously, mashallah, you're on TikTok, right? Yeah. And I think you've kind of mastered a good blend of like, and I'm, I'm gonna give you your flowers real quick. Don't be don't be too humble, uh, all right? You know, I hate take that. the humble, you know, just like a little bit down, all right? So. Backstory before all that, we was at the conference today, and one of the topics for the panel was how to utilize social media like mm-hmm. in good ways, oh, right? Yeah. And how to like, yeah, basically how to utilize utilize social media in in good ways. Because obviously, mm-hmm. social media there's a lot of ways where you can use it to do a lot of negative things, negative things, and yeah. terrible things, right? Um, and to give you your flowers, I think you've done a great job of like meshing together. Entertainment, keeping people engaged, keeping people keep keeping things light, um, but also like giving really quick and concise, like honestly, well, I mashallah gems, um, where people can learn a little bit, you know, and and and, and go from that. Um, so, how first of all, like in terms of just educating yourself like that, how should someone go about that, and then. Um, do you do you cater to? I know it's a very long question. <laughs> yeah. Um, but do you do you like it's do a two you? Two part question. It is. It's like a six part question, yeah. but it's fine. Um, do you like? I only caught two parts. 
Hey, Chad Do I cater so to? far have been sentence. one of my favorite guests. Do you I'm, cater to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help him. Help him with the question. I'll answer the first part, and then you can think about. The he'll second ask part. himself the question next yeah, time, yeah, yeah. and then he'll answer it for you. No, I, I think my man was coming up. Do with you the question curate? Do you curate these TikToks in a certain manner mm. for it to get to the audience? Like for us to be like, okay, boom, I got it. Thirty seconds, fifteen seconds, move on, or is it just you spit it? That's the second part. Oh, of the that's the second part. The I was looking for the right the, word. The first part of the question is how do I go about educating myself on this? Yes. How do I get to this level? Yes. Um, first of all, I wouldn't, I wouldn't not, it's not even me being humble, but I wouldn't say I'm at a level. Like, I don't think I'm at like a, like a place that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when it comes to like being educated enough to speak on certain things, like, it's embarrassing that you speak on things that you don't know about. Mm -hmm. It's That's embarrassing so enough That's already, so right? Yeah. So you have to you have to know what you're talking about when you when you talk about something. Number one, and then number two, it's like your experiences in life have to inform the things that that you speak about. Mm -hmm. So people like either take one or two ways. Either they they take from their own life experiences and then they speak in that way, or they try to experience more life in order to speak about certain things. So it's like two different directions, <laughs> right? So with me. I'm not going to lie. I get into random spurts of just research. I randomly research random things. Yeah. And like, and I'll talk about it now because yeah. I researched it because I, I, know, I know enough about it. So where does that? I, I was, I was question, talking about like is, skincare with you guys yeah, earlier about you were, moisturizers what, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah I don't, I'm not even into skincare, uh, like, but I know that little bit. And so like whenever it's time so to So where does that, quick question, where does that come from? Like that urge that like... That, that drive to be like, boom, I got to, oh shit, I got to tell somebody about this. Mania. I just, be, I get a manic episode of like research and I just tell people <laughs> stuff. Yo, this guy's a this is, this is where he, it comes from. He said, I'm a psychopath. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no for, like for real. Like it might be undiagnosed ADHD while I'd be like at this point, like, I don't know. But I just ran, I, I just feel it in my brain. I just want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> oh my God, I just feel like bro. doing it and I do it. You know what I'm saying? I like I that. I like that. No. In all seriousness, I think we yeah. talk about we talk about gatekeepers and gatekeeping a lot, a lot, a lot yeah. on this podcast, bro. I don't be and gatekeeping like, nothing, you bro. You don't, bro. This is, don't you know what's you know what's crazy though? If you watch this guy's TikToks, you can tell the shit he's telling you, he just found out about this. Yeah, I'll be excited. And he's just so excited. People. He's like, yo, I got something to tell y'all. And yeah. he puts his phone down and I'll he be, just spits and I'll you're be like excited to tell huh, stuff. He ain't lying. For real. And then and then he goes, So you had a point earlier though when you said that you shouldn't speak. Speak about oh, things that you don't know about. Things that you don't know. That can be a whole other conversation. That guys. really can be a whole other conversation. I really feel like also, um, if you really don't know, like people should be practicing shutting up way more than talking. I'm not gonna lie to you, right? And that's yeah. that's part of our deal. Like listen more than exactly. you speak, you know. 100%, 100%. But I feel like people are just constantly speaking, 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 putting out content on everything. Like we got a yeah. bunch of Google shifts on, on Twitter, bro. Bro, that forget be... that. People just like to talk, bro. Yeah. It's a, you ever heard of the Dunning-Kruger effect? No. It's, what is that? So it's like the the higher the higher the level of a person's expertise on a topic, the, more they the less they'll talk about it. Oh. So and then the person, the less the less they know about something. So there, there's a valley. So basically, as the person learns a little bit more about something, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the more the more likely they are to talk about it. Until they find out they don't know nothing about what they're no, talking you about. You don't the know whole time. shit. And then they <clears throat> shut up for a while and then they gain more expertise as they're quiet. Yeah. And then now they're at a point where they're comfortable enough to talk about it. Right? It's like your first psychology class. Yeah. You sat in that that class and you were like, this guy's got this guy's got ADHD, this guy's psychotic, this guy's yeah, you, start diagnosis. you start making diagnoses. You start making diagnoses, you start looking at yourself like, yo, yeah. I'm going to and then then you become a psychology major, yeah. and then you sit in those classes, and you're like, "Wait a minute, this is not, it's not, it's not what I thought it was." Yeah. And then you be, and then you graduate, you become a psychiatrist or something like that. You put your time in medical school, whatever, and then now you're comfortable enough to actually mm -hmm. tell people proper things about their mental health because mm -hmm. of. So on and so forth. And it's yeah. the same thing with sociology. People study a little sociology class and now they see the whole world through a lens of oppression. And then they realize that the tools of oppression themselves are built on things that people are trying to build success off of. And so now another person's success is another person's oppression. And then so on and so forth. And then the person's like, wait a minute, how many people am I oppressing in my life just living in America? Uh, yeah. And then it's like, oh, wow. And then... Then life just becomes dope. And then it just keeps going. And then you just feel it in your brain. <laughs> you feel it in your brain. But anyway, the point I'm making yeah. is people like to talk about things when they don't know a lot about the thing. Like an entry level 
knowledge of something and they like to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So you can tell and you can tell when somebody just found out like you said. Yeah. You can tell when somebody just found out some information versus a person like known like known this their whole life mm-hmm. and, and it's something that they've lived with. It's a truth that they understand that they've that they're comfortable that's marinated in their minds in their mind. Yeah, yeah, you can tell the yeah. difference. I feel like right now we live with the with the what is it called the Dunning Kruger Dunning Kruger effect. I feel like we live in a time right now where everybody not 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 even everybody not everybody but like mostly everybody is is on that like up going up this way where yeah, yeah. like because like how information is being spread and how accessible quick bursts of information are. Yeah. Because like for example, like if correct me if I'm wrong, but even if understanding information in our religion. You have to be able to verify, to verify it. it. You have to be able to understand the lineage of like, okay, who's the scholar that, that taught yeah. this scholar, who taught that scholar, who who narrated from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? Everything has to go um, to yeah, But for right. us, it's, yo, I saw Mufti this on Twitter talk about that, this, that, and the third, and somebody retweeted it, and then I'm learning it from their comment. That's <laughs> great if they do that, because some people won't even do that type of level of crediting somebody. Like they'll see something on Twitter or they'll read somebody tweet this yeah. and they'll start saying it as if it's their own original thought. Exactly. Right? Like if people give credit, that's great. It's like, oh, I saw this. I saw this sheikh talking about this. No, nobody does Amazing. that. Yeah. Nobody does that They're anymore. Like, oh, I read somewhere yeah. that. No. Like, yeah. So yeah. we're in a time where like because of the information that we're getting, it's everybody's going this way, mm-hmm. right? And like, I think I'm not gonna lie to you because of the separation that we have in terms of what social media can do for you, right? Because mm-hmm. I think what makes a lot of people go, "Oh, damn, I don't know nothing about this," mm-hmm. is and then just go right back down is when you have personal conversations like yeah. this, and then you start talking about something, and then you go, "Yeah," and then you know way more than me, and you start giving me information yeah. about it on just like like you said right now about like how this is connected to that, and that's connected to this, yeah, and then it's exactly. on a bigger scale, and then I just go, "Oh shit." I don't know anything about this. Mm-hmm. So then you shut up and you just go back down and you start studying more, become and, more and more and more. But because like we're so interconnected and because like, oh, if I tweet something tomorrow, 30 people retweet it and then I'm like, yeah. Because of that, I'm, I'm right. Yeah. I'm not wrong, right? Because because people showed love. <laughs> because, because exactly. I'm, I'm right. I got to, if, I, if I get 15,000 likes, oh I can say whatever the fuck I want. Oh, damn. I'm right at the end of the day. And then that just spirals and then people just think, okay, this is the this is the medium for being correct. Yeah. It's attention, right? Yeah. Then it just goes for some of that. So That's it the shifts from correctness. Yeah, it attention. shifts from like seeking knowledge, which we should be doing, and like deeply trying to, to understand a bunch of different stuff in life, mm-hmm. to like learning as little as you can, as quick as you can. To get satisfaction, yeah. so it's very backwards. But yeah. you know that's that is that is a curse of abundance. It is, it, it you really know, is. because like... when you have so much of something, you don't appreciate it anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many people do you think that live in LA go to the Lakers games every single day? Oh season? no, it's, now, it's right? mostly it's mostly it's people uh, that are tourists that yeah, are coming. Tourists. To so the thing is, it's like when something is there, you're always gonna devalue it because it's there. You see what I'm saying? So information is there now. You devalue. If if I told you you had to travel three or four months to hear something new mm, about something, yeah, you would appreciate information way more, mm. right? But everything's at at the you know tap of a finger. Nobody appreciates it anymore. So mm. so that spoils the pot. And now it's people's like how how can I get it quicker? It's like it's a hamster wheel. It's like yeah, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So this is this might get a little deep, but mm. have y'all? Have y'all heard of uh, the metaverse? Y'all know what that no, is? I, what is that? Have you heard of the metaverse? Metaverse. Yeah, of course. This guy's a tech guy, so he probably helped build. <laughs> I, build it I live in. I live Explain in. Explain it. it to me. The meta. So meta is what Facebook turned into. Uh-huh. The robot Mark Zuckerberg changed the name from Facebook because he's not a real person. I, I don't think you don't think he's a real person. No, that's a robot. <laughs> Wasn't there a little video of him saying back when I was human? Yeah. Yeah, there's a video of him saying. Back hey, when I was bro, human. y'all let that man. Anyways, that's what it became. He's a lizard it, it person. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I gotta start kicking with Chowder more after He's a lizard there. person. You ever see the, the lizard person uh, conspiracy theories? Oh, they zoom, wait, where they zoom in on they their zoom eyes? On their eyes, and then and then, and then the eyes like, and then it looks like a lizard with the uh, double eyelids. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. My favorite conspiracy is the Stevie Wonder's not blind. Stevie <laughs> Wonder is not. He's not. Wait, you wait. You don't think so? I don't think he's I, no, no, I don't know. But it's literally, look, so it's a video of the mic is like this, and the mic falls, and Stevie goes, 
catches it. And then there's like a little white kid at the end of the You see, I told you he's not blind. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you know, I've seen Stevie Wonder in person. Really? Yeah, he came, yeah, he came to the coil center. Did you try yeah. to swing on him? The nigga's blind. Oh, yeah, that nigga's no yeah. chance he's not blind. Oh, damn. You could just tell. You should have swung on him. See, he should have. He just. He would have been like, <laughs> We <laughs> pop up. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You need to leave, right? (laughs) But yo, that conspiracy theory is actually crazy. It's wild. But the the person is a a lizard lizard person, is like an alien or something. So they believe that there's these old aliens that inhabited the earth before humans came, right? And then these lizard people were like, then when the humans took over, they were relegated to to underneath. They were relegated to like the underground. Mm -hmm. And then. Now they're sp- sprouting up and they run the Illuminati. And they're not regular lizards. Get this. They're Jewish lizards. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the conspiracy hey. theory. I'm not an anti Semite. I'm just saying, this is the conspiracy theory. This is what the. This is what the <laughs> we're going we're gonna to clip this Jewish lizards. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So Mark Zuckerberg, we're the talking Jewish about lizard. the metaverse. Right. Now we're talking about Jewish lizards. <laughs> it sounds like a bad joke. Three Muslims talking about Jews. Oh, no. no, no, no. Listen, we we love the Jewish community. Oh my God. Oh, it's yeah. back on. Oh, wow, all right. A little lighting situation. Metaverse. Right all right. So the metaverse um, is is this this. Virtual reality. I'm gonna try my best to explain it. All right, you can kill it. I believe in you. This is the. Vir- it's like a virtual reality, right? Where you where you get an avatar, um, and you literally it's literally like another world. Yeah. You put on the VR thing. You have the things. You have an avatar. You can go into meetings. You can go to events, concerts, a bunch of different stuff. Like, I feel like that's really gonna change. I don't like it, by the way. Like, no. I, I do not. I mean, Terrible it's idea. maybe it's cause like oh like. I'm not. I'm not that old yet, but like I feel like I'm behind. I love like, it. I'm just. Okay, I'm why do you say that right now? Why do you love it? I like that. Here's, why do you love it? Here's the reason the metaverse. I feel like eventually is gonna take over the real world. It's not because of the VR. Isn't that anything. scary? But listen, listen. listen. Like it's, kinda, and, it's the matrix. And, and no, no. The reason it's gonna take over the world is not that it's gonna take over the world. It's just gonna make you more powerful in a sense, right? Mm. So let's just say right now, everything that you have that gives you somewhat more powers than someone that was like 100 years ago mm-hmm. is in your phone, right? Facts. Without your phone, you're just the exact same but from 100 what? years ago, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So what they're trying to do is move that to over to glasses, right? So where you're wearing your glasses, you're wearing glasses right now, the glasses are going to have the capabilities of your phone. So what's going to happen is your glasses are going to turn into your monitors. So right now there's two monitors over there, right? Your glasses are going to be so powerful that they're going to be able to display your monitor. So whatever you would have been watching, you're going to see it with the monitor. You're going to have a keyboard in front of you, oh, but you're not going to have a keyboard. Yeah, that's part of it. And the other part crazy thing that's is right now... without your mind just changed. When you said yeah. glasses, you said, yo. <laughs> so, nah, yeah, that's some like Tony Stark Jarvis shit. No, nigga, that's no hard. exactly. I want that. The other crazy... The thing, the thing <laughs> that I love... Like, <laughs> give me the glasses now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's literally... Yo, but, you're going to be moving. You're going to be Google Chrome. Gone. No, but YouTube is going to be playing right here. But did Google try to do something like that in 2013? They, they did. Google it failed. Yeah, because it was terrible. It was terrible it because was they had a the battery time, at the back of it. The time the was back the, of your head would get hot. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you got the glasses on. Hey, you got the glasses on. You try to doom doom. <laughs> the back of your head get hot. Like, damn, what's that? <laughs> you on the you on the bus hey. watching the video. You on the bus watching somebody go, hey, broski, broski, the back of your head on fire. Guys, you might want to check that out. You start you start smelling burning heat. Like, like, yo, who, who making nah. steak, nigga? No, nah, it's perfect. <laughs> No, steak and it gets my, the back fa- of your head. my favorite part of it though is, is the maps portion of Google uh-huh. Maps, right? Right now, when you're if you don't have your phone, you're lost, right? And Google Maps tells you where you're going. Imagine with just a if saying, you, sauce, you automatically ha- see where you're at. You're never going to be lost ever again. Directions are always going to be in your glasses. It's like getting an arrow wherever you're going. Starbucks. Let's say you're going to Starbucks. You're walking past the Starbucks, right? You take a look at the Starbucks. You bl- like you can either blink or give it a call and say what what's the menu. It'll automatically bring you the menu. The information is already there. You're getting a cab. You see a cab or an Uber. You see it, right? You flag it down. They already have all the information. You just book it on your glasses. It removes the phone. It brings the internet to real life. So I, li- I like that. But here's my rebuttal. You seem like you don't like it. 
Come on, let's have a conversation on that. I, I don't what know, don't you, what I don't, don't you like? So I don't know enough to like not like it, but from conceptually, like just looking at that as a concept, I don't like it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. So to to because like because bro like what? So you have your phones. They know they know where you are. Every one hundred percent. Right. There's a there's a little veil of privacy with your phone. Mm-hmm. With like in terms of advertisement and aggressive marketing and this kind of thing, right? Where in your phone, you might be thinking about something and you'll see an ad for it. Mm-hmm. On, but to some degree, if it's in your mind, it's in your mind. So yeah. you might not. With the, with, the, with the glasses though, I mean, they're tracking everything you're looking at. They're tracking your pupil patterns. They're tracking biometrics. They're tra- they might even be reading your thoughts at that point. Then certain thoughts might be crimes, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, mm. we're living in 1980. What's the book? 1984, 87. I don't know, but yeah, it's a. My thing is, is what you, what is it that you're worried about showing? So what do, what do you consider showing, again? It's going back to what is private, right? So right now they're using um, there's some companies like medical companies mm-hmm. that are using customer data, right? Yeah, and they're using it to help them, right, with yeah. medical diseases like diabetes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the data they're getting from the technology they're using. Right. They're using it for diabetes cases, and they're going to go ahead and make cures and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that, prevention, right? Mm-hmm. So, what do you consider private, <clears throat> right? But I it gets to that. It's I, not. It's mm-hmm. so. So, there's two things. It's like private com. My fault. I'm gonna let you talk. Private companies, yeah. and then mm-hmm. it's like um, the government. It's the it's the government, mm-hmm. and then the, like private company. Yeah. So, like, either way, if they know what you. What you're like, you, know, you see what I'm saying? Like, there has to be a veil of privacy, bro. That person, no, that, like, that, that, like, there's a must for but, sure. Yeah, it's so. scary, bro. I'm, I'm just, I'm just scared of it for real. I, and, but, and ima- but imagine if somebody would have told you, it. but imagine if somebody told you 70 years ago you're gonna get a device that has every single thing that you have mm-hmm. or can think of is in it and you carry it, it around would probably and be it knows you can be like, oh, uh, yo, hey, I'm good off that. Yeah, exactly. Just wait for it when it comes to context, and you don't even yeah. gotta wear the glasses no more. That's Fuck when you're no. tripping. Fuck no. Or they put it in your brain. Fuck no. That's never gonna happen. They're gonna have to kill you see, me before you see that. Then. Uh, you see the episode of Black Mirror? Yeah. Where, mm-hmm. like, they had these soldiers. There's two. There's one where there's the a chips, bunch of them. There's a bunch and of them. And there's the, the one with the context. There's a bunch too. of them. There's a bunch. There's a guy. There's the one soldier who literally pulls out the chip out of the mm-hmm. back of his mind because yeah. they're showing him these monsters that he's fighting because his whole time it's just regular people who yep. are not. Genetically pure enough to be living in the It's about to get crazy. Yeah, it's Salad, gonna be a black Saladin mirror episode. Yeah, so it's gonna be a black if, mirror episode. If I could Which, say, yeah, my fear about the whole metaverse thing is, there used to be a time where, like, we did everything ourselves. Yeah, right, everything in terms of like, even like getting from point A to point B, it was just all us. Mm-hmm. It was us and the stars. That's it. One hundred percent. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, obviously. Yes, um. And like now, I think with technology, the fear that I have of technology is it gives us the illusion of power. It gives us the illusion of knowledge. It gives us the illusion of like, I know what's going on and I know what I'm doing, right? And then by giving us that, it handicaps us. Because as soon as that technology is gone, we're fucked. We really are fucked. Yeah, like, exactly. like if you take, if you take me and you throw me in like the woods... I'm not on shit, bro. I'm, dying I'm right not there. I'm not coming back out. Yeah. <clears throat> Which way am I gonna go? Yo, Siri. Oh, but you could use. <laughs> you know what's crazy about that though? You could use that reference with older civilizations too. There are a lot of people in Rome, right? That were in Rome, the civilization, right? Yeah. That were living inside the city that had the comforts of what a civilization was, right? If you took know. them to a random wilderness in Africa, right? They too would be confused as hell. Nah, but not, not for the same. Uh, not, not for the not same as, reasons. Not, as, they, not, not, not in for the same, same way that he would be. Though. They would be confused. Mm. They would be confused. Not, not in the same way. They Modern would be, man. They they would would be, be survival. Listen, no, 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 I'm gonna tell you. I think they would, would be confused because of mm. lack of proximity. Then the, the proximity is okay because the way transportation worked there, you either lived and died in the city that you were born in, right? Because of the lack of proximity and like being close to things like the wilderness or being close to this, that, and the third, or vice versa. There's people that grew up in villages on farms and shit. If you took them into the city of Rome, yeah, but right? Mm-hmm. The the difference is though, like their their thing is like, okay, Meshan, I've never been here before, so I'm confused. And the other way around, oh, I've never been to the city before yeah. and I'm confused. For us, it's like, yo, I just don't know what to do. I don't know no, how to do it. Let me ask you guys a question. This. Let me okay. ask you guys a question. When was the last time you guys used a bathroom without your phone in your hand? Never. Like, y'all went in the it's been a while. I'm not gonna lie to you. The last time y'all went in the bathroom. That's one of my fears. No phone. That's one of my fears to not go in without like without my phone. Yeah. Oh, like me your walk, phone is dead. Like I need. Oh, I, I, I wait till it, it charges. 
What oh, do you mean? You bring the charger with you to the bathroom. No, that's nah, dangerous. I wait for it to charge. That's and nothing. I, I refuse to die in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Fuck no. Bro. The thing is. Hey, this man. Bro, last week, last week, <laughs> I, swear to God. I went to use the bathroom, right? I didn't bring my phone with me. I left it to go charge in my room, right? It was the quickest, <laughs> quickest in and out I've ever done in my life. Number two. I was like, yo, what? No. Because <laughs> well, I didn't have my phone. I was like, yo, I'm out of here quick. <laughs> yeah, man. So did you continue that or did you next time you went to No, but to I'm just thinking now. Two? Imagine no, because the efficiency, I'm curious, imagine I'm the curious, efficiency we would do things with. Okay, now I'm curious. There is no efficiency. Our efficiency is directly linked to the development of technology. That development of technology has monetary value attached to it. The more handicapped we are, the more they develop their technology. The, the more they develop their technology, the more I've we ever fucking heard buy this it. Man say. That's a fact. That one more time. Wow. Well, I have bars. So wow. run that back. Our, I guarantee our, you can't effici- it. our efficiency, you can't our efficiency is attached to the development of technology. The what more the that they, say? the more that they develop their technology. The lizard people, the more they develop the their juice. <laughs> Don't say that part. <laughs> We've, hey, this the, the we can't have a sponsor on this one. You know that. Yeah. Right? We have no sponsors on this one. The more they develop... I'll sponsor it, nigga. Don't worry. <laughs> shit, let's talk your shit, nigga. The lizard people. Talk about the lizard Jews. <laughs> Yo, 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 you know the crazy guy, uh, uh, InfoWars, what's his name, Alex Jones? Yeah. You know, he's from here. He's from Alex Minnesota? Alex Jones is from here. He's from Minnesota. Yeah, I don't know we that. love our Somali. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. I don't know. This guy does not the know The crazy Alex guy that be yelling. Yo, the Alex guy? Jones is not from Minnesota. He's from here. No. He's from here. No. Uh, if, I don't know if I'm, I'm like, wrong. Nah, there's look no way. Up. He's from look, Texas. Look he look has to be from Texas. No. Anyways, guys, if I can finish my point. I watched the more. Did you watch the one where Andrew Schultz and interviewed him? Oh man, the guy is Alex Jones is hilarious. He's calm. I'm sorry for interrupting you. It's just Alex Jones he was is born in Texas. A funny guy. He was a Texas, right? Yeah. Hey, he bro, was, I'm good at I research. I think he was here. I think he was. Can I see his here. picture? Yo, can we talk about how some people are starting to become very known in the public? I hate that. I love this man. Wait, why? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait why do you hate that though? I love this man. Why do you hate the fact that this guy is funny as fuck? Him. Speaking of Sarah, he's a demon. Speaking of like uh, Sophia, we talk about Sophia. This guy, this guy, Alex Haley, man. He's the. If you want to talk about the lizard Jews, you're gonna go to Alex Haley. Co- in terms of context, guys, we once again we do not hate yeah, yeah. Jews. I'm, we are I'm not anti-Semitic. With the wide lens. Well, I'm not an anti-Semite. I promise you that. It's a joke. I love the Jewish community. About a, a conspiracy fact, theory. Do you know who brought me to America? Jewish Family Services. Mashallah. This program is sponsored Shout by out. Jewish Family Services. I They're, thought you was going to sponsor. are people of the book. Shout but out then to they them. brought you here. They hey. brought me to America. They sponsored. Yeah. Third party sponsorship. Shout yeah. out to the people of the book. Yes. Yes. Which book? The Torah. The Torah. Yes, the Torah. Wait, anyway, why don't you like Somali people being known? I don't like known Somali people being the in the community. lens of, of the world, bro. I don't like that, bro. I really don't either. Because Somalis. Just, it's very because, ick. Because Somalis it's are very, very bad at <laughs> living in the moment. They're, they're terrible. What? They're, they're ter- you, you give them the limelight, they, they do terrible things with it. It's not like we'd be all fuck they, shit. Cause, cause the the Sophia thing, right? <laughs> is that a thing to be famous for? Hey, y'all know I'm a good podcast so because he was gonna go to that situation. Speaking of Sophia, welcome to Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we get ghosts to really talk about their feelings. Oh my. god. So you don't you don't appreciate what Sophia did? Let's explain yeah, that yeah. for a second. Was it a yeah, come up? Some people don't know what you're talking about. By the way, so. put put subtitles on this because I'm gonna say this in Somali. Uh, uh, this is uh, a Somali Partying, celebrities, galo. Like you are not gnawed. Like ten and take a hadi. You are not gnawed. Hey, galadi, galadi, okay, I mean, galadi. Like my hadi, not at all. Galadi, I watch it. I don't know. Like the one I see. I don't like the one I see. You know what? Like the one I see. Like the one I see. The one I see. Galadi, like the one I see. 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 The one I
حنوفي الصومالات بحس بين قالوا لي عيل لا ما شيء بيسوي كم قالوا لي عيل قالوا لي عك شيء قالوا لنا قبل أن توقع وين تاجرن وأخو تاجر صناعة بين تاجر اللي ما وحدين نول سلبرتي يلا عيد كحد كقار وحدين you go girl boss girl yes go boss girl get gaslight hey Man. Yo, you better put subtitles on that though when that comes yeah. out. The thing is, is Mahad yeah. is editing it. And yeah. Mahad is your, uh, Mahad, some, how's your Somali? That me up, Mahad. Nagnol. That's what they were saying. Yeah, how's your Somali, listen, Mahad? Listen, honestly. Is my mic still on, bro? I can't can we make two yeah, quick so points? On, so on. Can we make two quick points? Mm. Point one. Let's let's talk about this though. Yeah. By the way, how long have we been running? Because I feel like this show run is it's been a minute. I don't know. How long has it been gone? Hour thirty something. Is this? Are we doing an uncut version on this one? Are we just like running for it? Just I don't know. We'll, fi- we'll figure it out. You asking know. a lot of questions that we don't have answers are we, to. Are right we doing? Now. All right, we're gonna do a speed round. How about that? Speed and... round. Next ten round. Next ten minutes. Ten minutes. Speed round. No, because I don't want to wrap up. Boom, here. boom, boom, boom. I'm having a great time right now. All right then. If y'all good, I'm good. Shit. We have five more minutes left. Oh, minutes. it's oh, only been forty-five saying. minutes. So we have fifteen hey, more minutes man. before the oh. hour mark. That's when it's. That's when people start start saying. That's when people we'll start listening. Do you think people are still that's listening? When, that's when the trip is over. Are people still listening? <laughs> Nigga's already home now. Hello. <laughs> they were going to work earlier Hello. in the episode. Well, now they're home. <laughs> yeah, now they're home. Welcome back. Yeah, How was yeah. work? I hope you had a good time at work. No, yeah. they heard Nagnol. They came back. <laughs> they came back. They're listening to this on the lunch break. Yeah. Yo, social media. If you're media. not no, listening to this on a lunch break, <laughs> we appreciate you and we love you. Yeah. And I just want to say to the Nagnols out there, and I mean the ones who have a nine to five that work yeah. real jobs. Hey, not, Sophia, not, go not get your out, money, bro. Don't let, the, don't let all these not men in, it, it, tell you how to scamming. live your life. That's live not your like life. Speaking of social media, though, so let me get, let you me are... <laughs> <laughs> let me hold it. What y'all don't know is this nigga Chato is about to be... Yo, yo, how you how you be doing that scamming shit though, real quick? This is all jokes, guys. All jokes. Yeah. Um, this, yo, this I love this episode because this is gonna be a great episode. Me, oh, yeah. Me, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, I want to go back to social media though, because yeah. you seem like a very early adopter of new platforms. Speaking of one, Clubhouse. Oh my. I want I want Clubhouse stories. I'm your favorite host, think, by the way, right? I think, I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm your favorite host, right? These guys putting me on the spot. Yes. What you had? What, you had but, amazing but conversations myself, at though. Clubhouse. Though. I did that to myself though. Clubhouse is a crazy episode of my life, bro. And so, I want to and I want to listen to it. I was, wallahi. I, <laughs> okay, before you before you start before you start, can I talk about my experience? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Talk about yours. <laughs> so I have a version of FOMO where if I don't understand something or if I'm not good at it, I'm like, yo, fuck this shit. <laughs> So a clubhouse happened. If you don't understand it, all the homies are a clubhouse. I try to get clubhouse. First thing that happens is, yeah, bro, you got to get invited. It's like, what? It's like, yeah, you got to get an invitation to join this app. I was like, is it money? <laughs> it's like, no, let me, I'm going to send you an invite real quick. I'm going to send you an invite real quick. Don't worry. Bro sends me an invite, hop in. Yeah. Right? That was now, one of the reasons why I sold so well. Yeah. Then now it's just me. Then I'm like, all right, what's up? Like, how, where do I listen to people talking shit, you know? And he goes, yeah, let me invite you to the room. I said, what the fuck is this bullshit? Y'all got to invite me to like five different places. Finally, I get invited. <laughs> all these invitations. What the hell? Right? <laughs> I thought I was cool. <laughs> Finally, I get in the room. I'm in the crowd and shit with like 80 other people. I'm like, yo, who are these people, right? Let me invite so you get, up. Let me invite you up. Yo, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no more invites. Don't invite me nowhere. <laughs> I didn't know how to mute myself. I didn't know how to. I felt so old. I deleted oh, the app. God. I said, fuck this shit. Wow. Yeah, but go ahead. Tell us no, about you took, you took the more noble route. Yeah. I did terrible things, <laughs> <laughs> and I did great things on that app. As no, well. you did amazing things. I did good things on the app. I did bad things. No, the thing is, bro, I got on that app, and the first couple of days, it, took, it you know, I didn't sleep. <laughs> what the- <laughs> He's in his room like this. I was, I was just clubhouse. talking. Somebody has to be in the room where he got clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, clubhouse, invite. The room that they talk about inviting niggas to, I was in the room alone just sitting there. Niggas just just waiting for niggas to join. Nah, bro, but like. Yo, um, were you in those rooms where they were making like animal sounds and shit? He, uh, let's just let him tell the story. <laughs> bro, hey, welcome yeah, to Go I'm Talk. Gonna, <laughs> That's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go talk radio. (laughs) (laughs) 
Hey, that's going to be our intro for every <laughs> single hey. podcast. Get, get the cut Wait, right one now. more time. Look, get, look get at the, the camera. Right look at the camera. Get Please. the cut right now. Please look at the camera. Welcome to Goat Talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm actually pretty good at that. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at that's it. That's not a goat. That's Asad Yerwai. Wahar Yerwai. Oh, Wahar Yerwai. Yeah. 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 This nigga said, man. <laughs> Yo, I have not. <laughs> oh my god. Man. I hope so everybody funny. else finds this as funny as we do. Yeah, yeah. No. Because then listen, they're going to just be sitting I'm there like these niggas are this. fucking idiots. I'm enjoying this right now. No, but bro, listen. Um, man, what the fuck are you eating? <laughs> Those animals. This nigga pulled out a chicken sandwich out of thin air. What? That nigga got a sambusa and butter right now. Did you microwave it? No, Sha. Did you microwave it though? You look so happy. You eating that bro. so it's cold. Man, Y'all have uh, a man vibe, bro. Leave my it's man. It's cold. Did All you right, microwave uh, it? Let's bring it back. What am I? Fucking plebeian? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he say a plebeian? No. Nah, no, 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 no. We're gonna stay quiet. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about it. Is this nigga using hey. Latin right now? This nah, thing, it's not. Like, hey, we're not even gonna talk about it. Plebeian? Nah, he said something he else, said plebeian? but we're gonna get canceled. Uh, and are you still sponsoring this? No, I'm not sponsoring <laughs> this shit no more, nigga. I'm not sponsoring. Jewish Family Service is sponsoring this shit, nigga. <laughs> Jewish hey, Family. we just go over. The mic, I'm hey, pick that up. I'm not nothing no more. Jewish Family Service. How's your, how's, how's your stay in Minnesota, though? <laughs> What's going on, bro? How's your stay in Minnesota? Great. Has it been snowing? No, it's not snowing. It's Are the you first shocked? First time I came to Minnesota, it's not snowing, and it was like forty degrees, bro. Are you? Were you shocked? Amazing weather. Yeah, thanks. From Minnesota, really we're nice. trying. Thank you. I brought the sunshine with me. We're global that, warming. We're doing that little global warming thing. No, shout out to global warming one time. Yeah, big shout global out to global warming. Let's give it up for global warming. Woo! Shout out to the lizards. We're for all going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the lizards for keeping the planet warm. All right, the the Yo, corporate whatever. lizards. Yo, uh, I was watching. Uh, wow, I was you know watching Kingsman, right? Genetic engineering them. Sorry, go ahead. Still talking about the lizards? Welcome back. I was no, watching. I was I watching. Welcome lizards. back to Go Talk, guys. We kind of had a little. Nah. Uh, so we're gonna cut it off. Episode. We're not gonna talk about what just happened. No, we're, that's gonna be in there. It's just like we're trying to trying to bring back the audience. Yeah, and them niggas don't want to talk about no. Serious Anyways, shit. so just to like talk Why about the whole global warming thing. Not right now, though. <laughs> I can't wait to ask him the next I'm question. So sorry. I got you a good Go question. Ahead. I'm gonna get Chowder in the right mindset. I got you guys. For all the people that think I'm a I'm a hard question questionnaire person, I got you. Crazy thing is, I didn't even get to answer your question about the rooms and that I was in the club. Or the so question I had. Or the question you had a question. They didn't, they didn't let me right say because he's answering my question. How could he answer yeah. your question? Gonna, if he's let an, me, let me answering, answering my question. question. So, I'm just gonna shut up. So the thing is, I, like, I'm not even gassing myself up or anything, mm-hmm. but just due to Clubhouse, I've. I've realized the amount of influence I have on the internet, like, like just my personality and my comedy and like just who I am, how it goes so well for people, like how it goes off so well for people. And it's not me gassing myself up in any way, shape or form or so. No, you're very humble. Like a lot of people are fake on social media. Mm -hmm. But I'm real. I'm me. The whole time. I'm real, nigga. He said, he said, real niggas don't say they're real, but nigga, I'm real. Nigga, I'm real. No. Real niggas like me, they say they're real. I got real. What are you talking about? Yeah. I love so, it. The thing is, people don't really let their personality fully shine through online. Yeah. People just post things. They post their little pictures. A lot of people... Who people think are cool, they're not cool. A lot of influencers Get on are not influential. Ooh. Oh, yo, say that to the Ooh. camera. Because <laughs> this is about to be a clip. I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs> I think it's 3 a.m. I don't know. A lot of influencers are not influential. Whoever's his manager, by the way, is going to kick her ass after this. I don't think this episode is going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay, though. Niggas have 150K followers. No, it's going up. It's difficult. No, no, no. <laughs> It's just definitely going out there. <laughs> the way he looked at me, he said, you're going to have to deal with the lizard people by yourself. By <laughs> yeah, I, I have I would, nothing I would to do like with that. To, I would like to if remind If he disappears, <laughs> you know who did it. I have nothing to do like with I would like to this. remind everybody that the lizards are among us. Yeah, they are. I don't know. But your question, mm-hmm. go ahead and ask. 
ask. I, don't know I, did, I didn't really have a question. I had a statement. Um, I was watching Kingsman, which is one of my like all time favorite movies. Oh my god, me too. Really, yo, I bro, love Kingsman. Can we it's sing so the fire. song? Kingsman. The you know the song. The second about. one or the first one? The second one. Country road, take me home. home. You're not a real fan. This nigga was lying. <laughs> this nigga you don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> hey, we caught this nigga trip. This You're a liar. liar. Well, I watched the second movie, but country road with with uh, Jason take Jason me Tatum home. to the place. Not Jason Tatum. What's his name? Where we Channing belong. Tatum. Channing Tatum. Channing West Tatum. Virginia. Anyways, fill me in. Knock you one. My favorite part's coming up. I don't. I don't know. That's story. it. You don't know the song? I, I, I watched Kingsman in like high anyway, school, bro. Keep going though. Skip to the plot. I thought you were just watching it recently, but okay. <sighs> anyway, he was watching it. He was watching Kingsman. And he was yes. thinking, what, what were you thinking, bro? Yes. And <laughs> the main character, one of the main characters, Samuel Jackson, he was yeah, talking about- He has a lisp. He does have a lisp, yes. He talks like this. Why would like you this. say the lisp in a lisp? Because By the way, that's the weird. sickest word. Because a, it is. made the word. It is. Knowing damn oh well the niggas who have it God. can't say it. You know what's worse? Yeah, we talked about this Because you said lisp, right? Lisp. But you can't say lisp. lisp. Can't say People lisp. People with lisp can't say they lisp. They say lisp. They say it like this. Yeah, I have a lisp. Yo, niggas. You have a what? You have a lisp. What? <laughs> can't say it. <laughs> we know what's worse, Hamza. We talked about this um, when y'all uh, interviewed me. The word dyslexia. How the fuck is somebody with dyslexia is supposed to spell that shit? How's it supposed to read it? Or read it. It's not going to happen. This shit got a silent Y. A silent I. You got an X. You got an X. Who the fuck thought of an X, bro? Fuck, bro. Anyways, so the guy he's in the he's in the movie. He's trying to convince people to like invest in this whole like global warming, saving the planet thing, right? And the way he explains it is actually kind of nice. So basically, like the planet, like Earth, is the human, right? Earth is like yeah, it's the human body, and the humans are the virus, right? And when the body encounters a virus, it heats the body up, just like Earth is heating up right now. It heats the body up. So that the virus can die, right? So that's literally what's happening right now on Earth. Like the Earth is heating up. This nigga looks high as shit. I'm not going. So where's the vaccine? Where's the vaccine? <laughs> hey, bro. I'm sorry, is, is guys. Is Earth double vaxxed or not? <laughs> Did Earth get Moderna or Pfizer? <laughs> they got S. E. Johnson. Yo, remember they said the the. This the nigga got S. E. Johnson. Yo, did you guys hear about the vaccine? The the thing about the vaccine is making people thick. <laughs> Chato don't need questions, bro. Well, I mean, how does not need any yo, questions, bro? He, I'm looking at this man, like, yo. <clears throat> now they said it makes your hips. Yo, yo, this podcast. Yo, our videographer got S. C. Johnson. <laughs> He's dying. Pray for him. S.C. Johnson? You mean Johnson and Johnson? Whatever they call it. This whole time? That's the company that makes Clorox. This thing got Clorox in his veins. S.C. Johnson. Johnson and Johnson is cracking water. This thing got the Toys R Us vaccine. company. Yo, at some point, everybody was making a vaccine. I don't know if y'all remember. Yeah. Toys R Us was coming out, coming back from the dead. No. Nigga, and they had it. Toys R Us, Toys R Us had it in a toy syringe. <laughs> and they just poke you. <laughs> Blackbuster was coming out with a vaccine. Blackbuster was coming uh, out with uh, a Dangerous, nigga. They had a Netflix vaccine. Hell, no. Nah. Y'all see that? Y'all see that Nicki Minaj shit? <laughs> the, the vaccine. Oh, yeah. She said... She said, "Buddy, balls got too big, <laughs> <laughs> and he and he became impotent." Nicki Minaj, that man had gonorrhea. You just didn't want to tell you. Now you told. Now you told the whole country. <laughs> hey, this podcast is over. Hey, yo, I'm gonna see y'all niggas tomorrow, bro. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> hey, chatter again. The next time, the next time you come, um, uh, make sure yeah. that oh. uh, you come at like two p.m. <laughs> uh, yo, we can't just, keep going after this. Are you even a Nicki fan? Pull up in the yeah, he does it, he does it. Pull up in the Sri Lanka. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. Let, let, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do the little speed round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, what he wanted to do? Yeah, I don't have anything. I will just cap a lot. Oh, let's do a speed round. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's do a speed round. We've never done that before. All right, you done. ask question, I ask question. It's What's demons in here, guys. Lights? Flashing lights, flashing lights. All right, our production. We're getting better. It's good. It's good. It's straight. It's not gonna flash no more. Yeah. That's All right, a, that's guys. That's an amazing answer. Hello, I'm Zegarnos. 
On a guy. On a guy knows. We got. All right, let's okay. do this. Let's make this part a clip. <clears throat> Five questions. Back to back to back. Okay. You start. I start? <clears throat> yes, sir. So I got to answer them fast. What's your favorite smell and why? Leather. Favorite place you've been and Mecca. why? Mecca. Oh, I didn't get to explain why I like leather because I have this cologne that kind of smells like it. Um, Do you Burberry. have Calvin Klein? Burberry. Burberry. Burberry Ooh. Hero. It kind of has a leathery kind of thing, spicy leather kind of thing to it. Uh, pl- favorite place I've ever been? Mecca. You know why. I don't got to really explain that. What is, um, I mean, do you prefer tea or coffee and why? Uh, tea if I'm sitting, coffee if I'm going. Biggest regret in your life? Damn, I said Damn, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> do you prefer tea or coffee? Tea. <laughs> Biggest, Biggest regret, regret in your life. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> creating, my voice sounds that deep. Not creating a website for my book when I was mm. trying to sell it. Is that five questions? That's, I think so. But I want to talk about that book more. situation. There's one more. There's one more question. There's one more. You gave me four. Yeah. Four Wait, I had a question prepared and then I forgot it. Didn't have a question. I did. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, my my fellow Not co-host. Like, the woman was two stunned speak. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 